I thank very much those countries who helped the organization of African unity on the ways of technical, economic, and uh, financial assistance, and uh, those who helped also our liberation movement. I would like to thank them very much, especially the socialist country and uh, the communist China and the uh, Soviet Union. <laughs> I would like to say here that my word which I said, the total liberation of Africa must be put into practice. <laughs> if we are seriously committed, because if I am speaking about the northern part of Africa, I am speaking about Sinai, which is a part of Africa, and also Palestine is very important for the history of every mankind who believe in religious, whether you are Christian or you are a Muslim, you must see that this particular point is taken very serious. Also, what I wanted in the southern part of Africa is completely in Rhodesia and uh, South Africa majority rule. <laughs> but if Rhodesia and uh, South Africa cannot accept immediate independent to the majority rule in these two countries, including Namibia, then we must make really face them militarily, because we are capable of fighting against them, of liberating that country. But when I am speaking about this, I wanted the people to know that I am not against whites, but a white must accept that in these countries the majority are black, and therefore <laughs> it must be majority rule. And if they are to accept majority rule, I am sure those Africans will live with them in peace and harmony. If they cannot give independence as soon as possible by peaceful means in Africa and in the Palestine, special designists, they must be faced militarily. The invasion in 1972, I took them together, the show, and they gave very good coverage. I appreciate this very much, and with regard to the black peoples all over the world, I think as the Sir, we heard that there had been a yeah, over the trail. Have you heard yes. this? I've seen your, your, the various uh, uh, writer reports. Yes. Look, I've got no comments to make yes. at this stage. Okay. Yes. You are going to continue um, attending this meeting? <laughs> All right, you can go ahead if you want. You can go ahead. <laughs> you can go ahead.
for the next few minutes. <laughs> from here. of African unity, heads of state and the government ended its 12 ordinary session yesterday. It came from uh, Somalia's proposal of mediation between Uganda and Tanzania. Um, I think uh, I am speaking now to you, replying on this, not as chairman of the OAU, but as the president of Republic of Uganda. As Uganda is concerned, we don't have anything against Tanzania. We consider them are our brothers and sisters, and we will never even enter Tanzania one inch by our military forces, even police force. We will never. And we can give them all facilities. And we, we are in the same East African community, OAU, non-aligned United Nations. We have even Tanzanian working here in the East African community, post and telecommunication, which the office you see has been, the building is coming up, and some are working just next to the conference center, and they are very happy. Even, even during this OAU, the chairman of the East African Community Legislative Assembly is a Tanzanian, is a, somebody from president of Tanzanian place, uh, I think related to Tanzania, president, and uh, most of them are here in the OAU. See? And uh, therefore, for, for my part, I think I don't think that uh, even really we have anything with Tanzania. I will say that if it is better if the committee comes to consider the case between Uganda and Tanzania, should go to Tanzania, I think. For, for me here, I want just to assure you, as president of Uganda, 
and the chairman of the OEU, I want peace and unity in Africa and in the world. Yeah. You can even witness this when you are here in Uganda. Everything is being done by Ugandans. Is that true? Yes, that's you agree? True. Yes. And uh, if there are cars, everything plain, what it is being done completely by Uganda. And uh, now the liberation is coming to an end. Now it is the time for the Africa to fight for the economy. Because whether you, have, you are moving with the, how many flags, but if you are still economically slaves of the big powers and they are controlling you, you will never be uh, completely independent. Therefore, you must make sure that your people get independent, freedom, economic control, and it is very important. Field Marshal Amin Concern, as also chairman of the OAU, with the whole information from my brothers, the independent uh, uh, delegates of, the, of the, the independent African country, we are not under pressure at all from the United States. And even the Secretary General of the OAU even can tell you, we don't have any letter from the United States. The United States is not a member of the Organization of African Union. The United States only can put pressure on the weak country, independent individually there, but not at the OAU. Because OAU is an independent country, like Uganda here, is not controlled by any superpower. It itself, it is an independent country. You see, Uganda is independent, and OAU is also an united organization of African unity. And therefore, it is not being pressurized by any superpower.